My name is Frank Drake. I am a scientist here at the SETI Institute in Mountain View, California. I have been working in the subject of SETI for more than 50 years. What precipitated that first search was first curiosity about the existence of extraterrestrials. We know that the discovery of those creatures would be perhaps the most important scientific and, and eventually practical discovery we could ever make. I think that uh, detecting evidence of an extraterrestrial technology, someone else out there, would change everything. It helps us to calibrate who we are, where we fit in, in this really large cosmos. But I think it's important, even if we don't detect a signal, it's important to get the world involved in doing the search. The searching we do is, is very much like the searching that has been done by other explorers. Uh, Lewis and Clark comes to mind, uh, the, the great age of exploration of the 15th century. In those cases, we had a sense that there were great things out there to be found. We also knew that it was a, a expensive and costly adventure to take those expeditions out, out, out across the earth. But of course, in the long run, they paid off and uh, now we have the world as it is today. If you start thinking about this question, you are forced to look at yourself and your world from a different perspective, a more cosmic perspective. I think if we get people involved, that's something that we can spread. And if you spread that around the world, then you lay the groundwork for the kind of cooperation that we need across boundaries and over time to solve some of the really difficult challenges that we and our planet face today. The people who support us and contribute support to us uh, realize that what our search is is a quest which is going to enrich our civilization more than almost any other thing. It will enrich us in just telling us of what life can be in this universe.